So finally, one last story. There's this viral video going around that people are saying is a girl buying groceries using a chip in her hand. Take a look at this. I'm at Whole Foods and I'm about to pay for my groceries with my... Brad, you didn't grow up in Evangelical Inc., so I don't know what this video does to you, but for me, right out the gate, watching somebody appear to scan their hand with a chip in it in order to pay for something, it screams Mark of the Beast. And I don't know if you even know what that is. I don't. But I don't. Please tell me. It's Mark of the Beast territory. It's very dangerous. So in Revelation, which is the craziest book in the Bible, it's the last book in the Bible, it predicts the ends, ends of time. There's all kinds of weird stuff in there and nobody quite knows what to make of it. But basically what I got from my childhood is there will be an antichrist, aka the beast, and he will have some way of marking people that they have to get in order to participate in commerce. So a lot of people think like a tattoo or a mark on your forehead or a chip in your hand. like, And basically, unless you get that, you won't be able to participate in commerce. But if you get it, then you're marked by the beast and you're going to hell. All right. So first and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me this truth, peace, and salutations unto the hopeful elect. The tabernacle of King David scattered through the four corners of the earth, and to you I say, Shalom, a shalom to you, Akiam, shalom to you, very few sincere Akwaf, and shalom to the 144,000. And uh, this is going to be a real quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Rathazah. This lesson here will be edifying, man, right? For somebody, the mark of the beast, right, which is the MOTB, right, is in your face. Let me say it again. The mark of the beast, right, is in your face. You see that? You hear more and more talks, right, about, you know, people making uh, 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 payments, right, by using just the palm of their hand. You see that? Where the hell do you think this is going to lead, right? Why do you think that things are going cashless? You see that? Why do you think that these think because... All of this here is the will of the Lord. You see that? Because ultimately, this is the Lord's chip. You see that? And a lot of you individuals out there, you guys are going to receive this thing. You know, now this woman here appears to be an Edomite. You know, she's she's stoked. <laughs> right? You see her face. She's stoked. Right? About what she can do. You see that? And believe it or not, you got a lot of our people, even Eve's, Eve's, you know, just two third of our people. They're stoked by this technology, too, man. You see this this look on her face? See that? So, you know, as you see, you know, these are the times that we're in, man. All right. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and grab a scripture. I'm not going to keep this lesson long, man. All right. Let me see. I actually was going to go into that, but the spirit told me no. But I did want to go into this here, man, because we're supposed to be occupied in prophecies. Matter of fact, let me grab that. All right. But he, matter of fact, let me see. Occupied in prophecies. And there's a reason why I want to read. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 39, verse 1. It reads, but he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. And you got a lot of bug outs. Guys like Hassad and all that. They're not occupied in prophecies. Right? But the prophets, right? This is what this is what we're occupied in, man. This is what we got our eyes on. You know, now of course we're gonna reprove and rebuke you wicked ass two-thirds out there, but for the main part, right, we are occupied in this right here, man. Right? Because scriptures say what? Uh that a prudent man foreseeth the evil. And hide of himself, man. You see that? Matter of fact, let me grab that real quick. If I have it. 
Yeah, here it is right here. This, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil. What evil is coming, man? Right? The mandatory implementation, right, of the M-O-T-B. Right? You're going to have a lot of people that's going to take it. You see that? Because just like how this, matter of fact, let's, let's keep reading. Proverbs 22, 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hide himself, and but the simple... Pass on and are punished. You see that? And you know what? A lot of you people out there are, are simple. They're simple. You know, and as you see, you know, even when I played this video here, you know, these Edomites, they pretty much went off. You know, if they are Edomites. You know, you heard her talk about, you know, the Antichrist. Scriptures say there are many Antichrists. You know? <laughs> And you know what? That's what people think. It's the coolest thing ever to get a chip in your brain and in your hand. You individuals that get it, you're going to be destroyed. Now, let's go here. Brad, you didn't grow up in evangelical ink, so I don't know what this video does to you. But for me, right out the gate, watching somebody appear to scan their hand with a chip in it in order to pay for something, it screams Mark of the Beast. And I don't know if you even know what that is. I don't. But I don't. Right? Please tell me. what she said. Scream Mark of the Beast, but I don't even know what it is. You know, we're telling you what it is. It's a small, implantable chip that they want to put under their skin, eat them. And Brad don't. This dude here, he don't know what the hell is going on. This dude like Steve-O from, uh, from Jackass. And this is exactly what he is. He's a jackass. And even this woman here, you know, she, you know, just a bunch of jackasses. They don't know anything, right? Because the because scriptures say what? That the secrets were revealed unto the prophets, the servants, man. You see that? So let's keep going here. Oh, me. This Mark of the Beast territory, it's very dangerous. So in Revelation, which is the craziest book in the Bible. No, it's not. She going off. She is not the craziest book in the Bible. <laughs> she going off. The Bible is not crazy. You individuals are crazy. You see that? Because it wasn't meant for you to get. Let's keep going. It's the last book in the Bible. It predicts the ends, ends of time. There's all kinds of... Now, even in the old, even in the New Testament, it goes into prophecy. So what are you talking about, woman? All right, but again, you know, scriptures say what? A foolish woman is clamor. She's simple and knoweth nothing. Weird stuff in there, and nobody quite knows what to make of it. But No, we know what to make of it. You see that? Because again, the, the secrets were revealed to who? The prophets. See? Typically, what I got from my childhood is there will be an antichrist, aka. No, no. Scriptures say there there are many antichrists. Showing you that these Christians, these Edomites, you know, you two third individuals, you don't know the scriptures. You see that? Matter of fact, let's go ahead and grab that. She said that's gonna be an antichrist, All right? No, scriptures talk about many antichrists. Let me see here, and, and a lot of you individuals out there, many antichrists. Let me see, Antichrist. All right, they always talk about it's just one Antichrist. First John, two or eighteen. Little children, it is the last time, as as if ye have heard that Antichrist shall come. Even now, are there many Antichrists? Whereby we know that it is the last time. And you know what? There's a lot of people out there that are Antichrist. Right, and that word Christ just means anointed, but anti, uh, uh, anti Hamashiach, man. You know these people here; they don't really believe in the Lord. You know, not at all. All right, please forgive me for, for that, brothers and sisters. Um, but anyway, let's read it again. First John chapter two, verse eighteen. It reads, "Little children, it is the last time." You see that? And as ye have heard that anti-Hamashiach shall come, even now are there many anti-Hamashiach, whereby ye know that it is the last time. You see that? So if you don't believe in the Bible, right, if you don't believe in the Savior of the Bible, which is, his name is Yahweh Shai, right, he is not an Edomite, right? If you don't believe in the 100% in the doctrine, Right, if you still telling yourself the law, statutes, and commandments are done away with, right, you are an anti. You are, you're not for Yahweh Shai. You're not for the Savior of the Bible. You are against him. Right, if you are still trying to inspire to be something in this world, right, you are not for the, you are not for the Savior of the Bible, man. Right, and I'm going to tell you something. You're going to be one of the ones that's going to receive this C-hip. 
You see that? They get chipped and dipped. Matter of fact, Elder uh, Elder Aya Shah actually went into it, uh, I want to say yesterday or today, where I want to say starting in January 1st of 2025, right? They're going to bring the... Um, they're going to bring uh, 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 the MOTB online, man. You know, so a lot of you individuals out there, you know, you guys are going to be deceived to receive this thing. You see that? But you brothers and few sisters, right, we do these videos for you. See, we don't do the videos for the wicked-ass individuals that it, that's, uh, I call them background bug outs. We don't do the videos for, for you individuals. You see that? We do these videos here for you sincere brothers and sincere sisters that truly want to hit us 100% truth, man. And we're giving it to you. See that? As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and grab another scripture here, man. All right, so it's many anti hamashiach So you got to ask yourself, are you for or against? Okay, again, please forgive me. You know, this time it was a phone call. But, um, yeah, man, you know, so this thing here, you know, pretty much the MOTB, is in your face, you other Israelite groups out there, you know, if, you know, all you guys that, you know, that want to say that the, the mark of the beast is, I don't know what is something bugged out. All you individuals that say that the MOTB is something other else than what we, than what the hell we're telling you it is, you're going to be one of the ones to receive this piece of technology under your skin, man. You see that? Brothers that sh uh, show clips of that devil... Uh, what's his name? Noah Yuval Harari, right? Uh, that he did a video, I want to say, where he was at the World Economic Forum, where he said, man, right, that they want to start tracking you under your skin. You see that? So all of these things here, right, are pretty much in your face. Let's read this here. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and I will watch to see what he will say unto me. And what I shall answer when I'm reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables. What visions, man? The prophecies, man, right, that were revealed or, or that the Lord allowed the prophets to see, man. And they wrote them down, right, in the scriptures, man. You see that? Hence, this is why we have, right, the Bible today. You see that? Bibelos. You see that? It means a, 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 a composition of, a, of writings, man. You see? Anyway, it says, uh, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because what? It will surely come. It will not tarry. You see that? And this is exactly what you see happening here, man. Right? This MOTB is pretty much in your face. You see? Everybody's heard of Chip Girl before, but I thought this was really interesting. Life has a way of throwing challenges at us. But this was a really interesting video when I saw this because I was like, damn. You know, and of course, you know, you got these crazy ass people, you know, they're going to be the ones to receive it too. You know, but it's just showing you that, you know, and, and these heathens, right, they have a sense of what the hell is going on. You got two thirds of our people, guys, that know that the Israelites telling you that the MOTB is something spiritual. Scripture tell you that the children of this world will become smarter than the children of light, man. You know, so, you know, it's, you know, just, just a quick lesson through the spirit. Nothing deep, you know, wanting to jump into some prophecies, man. All right? World War Three, or, you know, M.O.T. something, man. Instead of, you know, start doing videos of that whack-ass dude. What's his name? Hassad. You know, let's go ahead and grab this, too. This is the book of, uh, let me see here. This is the book. Of Ezekiel, I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 17. It reads, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. You see that? So, all these guys out here that know that the Hebrew Israelites, they're supposed to be teachers and all of that, right? If they're not warning you about the things to come, right? The MOTB, the time of Jacob's trouble, World War III, then guess what, man? They're not a watchman. You see, these guys that want to debate and all that crazy crap, nah, they're not watchmen. Guys that's struggling to break down the scriptures, you know, break them down wrong. They're not watchmen. They're not warning you about anything. That guy Vocab Malone, he's not a watchman, right? That guy Bishop Nate, he's not a watchman, right? The guy General Johanna, he's not a watchman. 
Hassad is not a watchman. Deacon of Destruction is not a watchman. And that guy, uh, what's his name? Gorilla Hebrew is not a watchman neither. All you, all you crazy ass guys that are out there, man. You're not a watchman. Anyway, Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman to the house of Israel. Therefore, hear, the, hear ye the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. You see that? And this is what the hell I'm doing, man. Right, and also the other brothers, we're warning you, right, that the times that we're coming into, right, they're going to make this thing here mandatory. You see that? Because it's in your face. You know, like how I say, this is supposed to have been a real quick lesson, you know, something straight to the point through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Bashai. Right, you brothers and few sisters better keep your eyes open because guess what? This damn, this, the MOTB is in your face. And if you can't see it, then hey, you better ask yourself something. Is the Lord dealing with me? Until the next time I say, Shalom. A story. There's this viral video going around that people are saying is a girl buying groceries using a chip in her hand. Take a look at this. I'm at Whole Foods and I'm about to pay for my groceries with my. <laughs> Ever.